With Parabadminton joining the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games, the BWF have been offering their para-athletes opportunities to be better prepared for the big occasion. One such opportunity was the Proud Paralympian program, held during the European Parabadminton Championship in France last month. The program is a central hub for athlete learning, supporting the para-athletes from early stages of development through to competition. And over two days in Rodez, para-badminton athletes learned how they could do better on and off the courts from renowned para-tennis player Samantha Bullock. We are developing these, the career of these athletes, so it's important for them to know where they came from, uh, to have a goal and to know how to deal and step by step on their careers. So it's, it's educational, it's quite important, I think. I think we, we should and we are create this uh, big sense of community where we can see each other and we can, uh, it's like, oh, I can count on you, you can count on me, we have the same difficulties, we can exchange ideas. And so it's, it's, it's to be proud Paralympian, it's to be proud of, of your movement. So I just, they understand that IPC, the Agitos are here for them. The Proud Paralympian workshop was broken into four modules. The Paralympic movement, delving into the history of the Paralympic Games and its core values. Athlete health and well-being, sharing ways to take care of one's physical and mental health better. Working with the media, helping athletes cope with the limelight. Dual career strategy, preparing athletes for life after and outside of competition. All key to an athlete's success at the elite level. We've been working with the uh, Proud Paralympian and the I IPC since 2007 to help elite athletes be successful on and off. And the Proud Paralympian is really an extension on the educating all athletes of how they can take the history of the Paralympic movement, but take it all the way through the values, through how it hits a community, and then how they can actually balance it in their professional life. There's more and more need for knowledge, but then there's more and more need for how do I balance my sport life with my career outside and how do I get more education? So what's happening is I think the, the athletes that we engage with see the potential on the field of play as well as off the field of play. They see the value of knowing more about the Paralympic movement and knowing what they can do with it outside of it. So I'm going to say that there, there's been a uh, uh, escalating importance on the message that's going out. After sitting through the fairly intensive program, para-athletes like Mark Moderman left with a better understanding of what it means to be a Paralympian. Well, mostly that, that uh, the whole, the, the more community-driven part of it, that we are a community as disabled sportsmen. Uh, I hadn't really looked at it that way too much. Um, and that it's such a big movement, that's very, yeah, very impressive to me. What they said about the attendance on the, the Paralympic Games, that it's really, really good. Uh, all sold out, I didn't know that either. It's just, yeah, very new to me. Know it, live it, share it. That's the proud Paralympian motto. And for the para-badminton athletes in Rodez, they'll be hoping to put the recently acquired knowledge into practice to achieve greater success at Tokyo 2020.